Hello there. I'm sure many of us are trying to step up our self-care routines at the moment. Self-care certainly means something very different to everyone, whether it's some simple beauty steps or more major and significant changes and life decisions. I thought I'd make a short video sharing a few of my go-to habits, but I really wanted to do this to crowdsource self-care concepts from all of you. Let's turn the comments section into an encyclopedia of ideas so that anyone going through a hard time now or in future can scroll through to hopefully spot something that might help them. Anything pictured on screen will be listed down below. Here are some of the little tasks, hobbies or habits that help me feel less overwhelmed, stressed or panicked and get back to feeling more calm, comforted and relaxed. First, putting my phone away. Although it's so important to stay connected to friends and family and content that brings you joy, too much screen time can make me feel worse. Instead, you'll find me running a long bath. This is my number one way to wind down. I've honestly found there are a few things a bath can't fix, but taking a nice hot shower can certainly help wash away the day too. Painting my nails. It's well documented on my channel, so I'll leave my nail tutorial video linked below if you're turning to at-home manicures at the moment or wanting to learn. Putting on a face mask. There's just something about this step that helps me feel like I'm starting afresh, whether it's with a deep clean, exfoliation or hydration a couple of times a week. Tidying up my space. A tidy home equals a tidy mind for me, so I try to keep my room really neat and always put away any clothes or clutter before bed. Lighting a candle. Yes, it's a cliche, but a scent is more than just an ornament. It can be a real comfort, create a sense of calm and bring back happy memories. Drinking enough water. Another obvious step, but a couple of litres a day always helps me feel better, and I might add in an elixir like this one to get some other benefits. Plus the comfort of plenty of cups of tea. Applying hand cream. Giving yourself a mini hand massage and really working the cream into your muscles is a perfect moment of peace for me. I love treating my nails to some cuticle serum every day too. Spritzing on some face mist. I always have a mist or three on my desk to keep me feeling fresh throughout the day and it's a key step in my morning and evening skincare routines too. Listening to a great podcast. Turning to the voices who inspire you, encourage you, challenge you, and help you stay engaged. I often search for people I admire and listen to anything they've ever recorded. Treating yourself to a mini facial. Really taking your time to go through your full skincare routine at home and maybe adding in some tools for a calming facial massage. Getting some fresh air and sunlight, with sunscreen on of course. Going for a walk, sitting outside in a quiet part of a park, or even in your own garden or courtyard where you might be able to plant some herbs or pick some flowers. Getting your body moving. I'm someone who much prefers going to classes, so I find it really hard to motivate myself at home, but there are so many good free workouts to scroll through on YouTube. Please share what you use. Reading a good book. It's one of the only ways I can completely quiet my mind and disappear into another world far from what's really happening. Let me know what you're reading and share some of your favourite books. At the opposite end to reading a good book, there's watching some bad TV. The kind that's so bad it's actually good. I love brilliant series and documentaries, but those turn your brain off sort of shows are definitely a coping mechanism for me too. Put on some great music, whether it's your favourite artist or some throwback feel-good pop to dance around to, or even an album that always lifts your mood. I listen to hours of Spotify every single day. Writing to-do lists. Getting tasks out of my brain and down on paper means I can stay on track, but also leave work behind at the end of the day without having those things floating around in my mind. Last but not least, getting creative. Whether you're into writing, drawing, painting, poetry, photography, videography, a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, finding a creative outlet has always been one of the biggest life boys for me. Now over to you. What are some of the self-care steps or tasks you turn to to help you feel more grounded or relaxed or to cheer you up during a tough time? Were any of mine on your list too? I'd love to read your favourite steps and suggestions in the comments and hopefully we can all help each other look after each other. Thanks for watching. See you next time.